you doing, Russ? Oh, uh, you know, ignoring you. That's my life. You never said anything about my haircut, dude. What haircut? Oh, you cut your hair. Dude. Yep, used a shaver, trimmed the back. Yeah. comments <laughs> about what being on camera oh you want me to say something blacked <laughs> out silly well it's too late now I'm turning it off so day five did a bunch of mopping bunch of cleaning need to do a lot more but we wells got the uh, trim off and other than a little bit of surface rust here over here it's actually not too bad I don't have to do any rust work yay at least on the wheel wells got the rear heater removed as you saw yesterday reconnected this heater and cleaned up all that crap that was underneath Nice and clean now. Oh, we won't look there because I haven't cleaned there yet. And Russ came by and he's cutting up the vinyl for me. Yay, no vinyl cutter. My so mom will be proud. Made one hell of a mess over here though, dude. What the heck? Dude, well, I had a bad childhood and I have to lunch out. <laughs> Okay. I'm, just a, I'm just a bad, bad man who does bad man stuff. <laughs> Alrighty then. So we were going to pull the roof panels off, but since Thomas decided to paint after putting the screws on, all that happens is the screws get stripped out. So. There's two inches of polyfill behind the panels. Same polyfill they use in Sub-Zero sleeping bags. So, I think I'm just gonna leave it. And I'll just put some spray foam in these gaps here, cover them back up, and call it good. <laughs> See, if they're stripped out, then we need a whole bunch of $1 bills, and then we can get them off. And on that note, you all have a good day today. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm trying out this remote app here. So, as you can see, the bus is clean, heater's fixed, came out this morning, it was leaking, so I yeah, had to fix it. Um, got the channel with the heater hose taken off. Probably going to put it back on. I still need to do some more cleaning above it, it looks like. But I was hoping to tape out today. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Um, keep looking down because I'm actually using the camera on the phone. Uh, yeah, so I might do some tape off today. If I do, I'm going to try out the time lapse. Yeah, so that's an update. Today's Monday the 16th. Uh, the previous part of this video was Saturday the 14th. Um, not a whole lot happened that day, so I thought, well, maybe I'll just connect the two videos together and make one longer one. So that's where I'm at. And uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know what was going on there, but for some reason time lapse didn't want to work. Or at least didn't want to communicate. So, I will just record and figure something else out.
3M did, but they really messed this up. You feel it just zip right out and it wouldn't tear. But apparently they changed something, of course. You now it tears every freaking 12 inches. Way to go, 3M.
Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm taping out two front seats that will pull out into a twin size bed, 37 inches. Ooh, maybe that's what's messing with me. Maybe that's not 37 inches. And that's why. That's why I'm 37 inches. <laughs> Four inches wide, sitting down. Oh, yeah, that should be plenty of space there. Ooh. So, front seat, front seat. I might actually have them facing this way. You can turn your head if you want to look out the front, but yeah. Um, so, front seat, front seat. I'll have a pull-out table that sits here so you can actually eat dinner right in here. And I'm probably out of frame, but I don't care. Um, yeah, so two front seats. Countertop starts right at the back of the front seats. And so that's what I'll tape out next. goes underneath my flooring. This came from Hanson's Roofing. Luke Hanson at Hanson's Roofing gave me this roll of, uh, well, it's essentially tar paper for underneath shingles. Great weatherproofer. Weatherproofing for all these little holes all over the place. Tack that down, put the flooring over it, nice and sealed. Okay. See what I mean? Well done, 3M. Okay. Junk. Expensive junk. And it switched to frog tape. Ooh, never. 
little bit of countertop in between the seat and the stove. And the stove goes in this area here. Sorry, it's wrong. This is not the wood stove, this is the sink. This side has water, that side does not. Entertainment Center. I was going to put more counter space around the sink, but I think I'd rather have more room. That's not going to be long enough. I'd rather have more room for the toilet, which is a friend told me I should use try to have as much room in the toilet area as possible so you don't feel all cramped in.
sight alone, I hit 36 inches right there. Give me 12 inches on the left of the sink, 12 inches on the right of the sink, in fact, and then right above the sink. So here's an update. Camera glitched yesterday and split the video, so I lost about you know, 11 or 12 minutes. At first I was angry. Now not so much. Um, went through my mapped out design and found out <clears throat> I'd forgotten a few things. So the floor plan got changed just a little bit. So now, starting in the front, passenger seat facing forward, just a seat. Refrigerator right here. A little bit of counter space, about 12 inches. Sink. Stove and convection oven. And the counter here. Wood stove and heater. Perfect placement. Midway, that wood stove will heat everything. Bathroom. Got sized up a little bit from 36 by 36 to 36 by 42. So, you're on the turlet, you're sitting here. Wall, don't worry, no one can see you. Yeah, there is a window here, but they won't be able to see it. Standard RV table. So seat, seat, table in between. Table drops down, bed. Um, yeah, and then shower, I'm still thinking on that one. I may actually have an outside shower. Bathroom wall, possibly a wall, haven't decided on that yet. Entertainment center, bed, slash bench. Just behind the wheel wells, ha, ah, it's nice being able to stand up and straight. <clears throat> be a wall with the door. Back here will still be the workshop area with the Jenny in the window. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, flooring did change a little bit. Uh, the stuff that I was going to get from Hanson's roofing was too thick. It would have put my head even closer to the ceiling, which, as you can see, well, highest point, I'm still bowing my head. So I'm stepping down to a quarter inch vinyl click lock type stuff. Full floating floor. It'll still be on top of the felt. Um, yeah. This channeling will come out. In fact, I'll probably take both channelings out and just build a shallower ch channel so I can get some lighting, indirect lighting that can shine up over. So yeah. That's the plan. We'll see how close I can get to it. Till then, have a great day.